Hello guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable your TPM 2.0 and secure boot on Intel processors uh, for Valorant, mainly for the stupid Vanguard update where you need secure boot and TPM 2.0. Usually on launch, it'll just kick you out the game because it's not enabled. You guys probably seen the videos around where they tell you to turn on or go into your BIOS and turn on secure boot and Intel, uh, the Intel technology that's only for Intel CPUs. So I don't have AMD, so I don't have that AMD switch thing that they show in the BIOS. Um, if you did do uh, the secure boot, enable, CSM, disable, and uh, the Intel technology, you enabled that and it still didn't work for you you still get the same error what you're going to want to do is just go into your power uh search of windows powershell real quick and run it as an admin just to make sure your tpm is actually enabled and you're going to go get hyphen tpm and it'll say here true if it's false if all those are false it means your tpm is still not enabled so what i had to do is what they didn't mention in the other videos was actually turning the feature on your tpm on so i'm gonna boot into my bios real quick just to show you what i had to do because every video did not show this it was only showing the other three and i just couldn't play valorant it just wouldn't let me had keeping the same launching error for vanguard so I'm going to boot up into my BIOS. So this is what they told us to do. Well, all the videos I've seen. So remember, I'm on a Intel uh, CPU, not AMD. So using AMD, you would just go advanced, and then you'll have this uh, switch here that you can turn on. I don't have that because I'm on Intel. So you're just going to go back to your security. Make sure this is on. So your cube boot make sure this is enabled and on standard if you can't enable this it's because of your csm turn this off there you go it's disabled enabled enabled so usually they said do that and then go ahead and exit and save but i've done that and it still did not work the one thing they didn't tell you to do is if this section here in advanced trusting trusted computing if this security device support is disabled which mine was by default then it's not going to work this was what enables your tpm 2.0 to be used so after you enable that go ahead and exit and save and let it boot back up after that go ahead and launch Valorant and hopefully it lets you in I mean that's all I had to do is enable that feature without that it just did not work and you could test it just by doing the PowerShell again and see if it's on uh, if that says in the PowerShell if it says true you're fine and you can play Valorant so hopefully uh, this video worked for you guys please let me know down in the comments and share it for other people to get back in the game all right late